What's going on everyone and welcome back to Metal Gear Solid. Wow, I haven't played Metal Gear Solid in a while, so yeah, <laughs> I really can't remember what I was doing. But it looks like I'm in the jail cell, so I've just been through the torture. No, I won't. <laughs> I love doing that. Anyway, guys. I have a surprise for you. Now, I have five game keys, which I will be giving away. But, there's a catch. I'm not going to be telling you what video this key is in. And I'm not going to be telling you um, when it's going to happen. It will be first come, first serve. So, if you see the key and you put it into Steam to activate it, then you obviously want. That's the way it's going to work. I don't know who's going to win and I don't know what's going to happen. So, with that said guys, because I'm not going to be saying what video these are in, you might want to try and keep up to date with my videos from this point on. Don't worry, it's not going to be in this video. It'll be in later videos, I just won't be telling you which videos they're in. And it will be a brief flash of this key. So if you miss it, so you'll have to go back and pause it if you want to actually get it all down. I'm going to let you watch this now. About this, how deep does it go? As far as I know, as of yesterday, the president had not been briefed about the Rex project. Need to know basis, is that the idea? These are sensitive times. Even subcritical nuclear tests are causing quite a stir. Plausible deniability, huh? Yes. And tomorrow, the president and his Russian counterpart are scheduled to sign the Start 3 Accord. I get it. That's the reason for the deadline. That's right, Snake. And that's why we can't let this terrorist attack go public. We still haven't even ratified Start 2, or dealt with the issue of TMDs. This has to do with the president's reputation, and America's place as the dominant superpower. So patriotism is your excuse for circumventing the Constitution? Please, Snake. Just stop them. Why should I? Because you're the only one who can. In that case, tell me the truth about this new type of nuclear warhead. I told you before. I don't know the details. I don't believe you. If the situation is so serious, why don't you give in to their demands? Let them have Big Boss's remains. You see? Or is there some reason that you can't do that? Something you haven't told me about. Publicly, the President has been very vocal in his opposition to eugenics experiments. We don't want the existence of the Genome Army to go public. And that's the only reason? Huh. Hell with you. I'm sorry. The corpse of the DARPA chief is lying right here next to me. Oh, man. But it's strange. He looks and smells like he's been dead for days. All his blood's been drained out, too. Drained. Maybe to slow down decomposition? I have no idea. But the Chief only died a few hours ago, right? Right. But he's already started to decompose. What could it all be about? Something in his blood that they wanted? I doubt it. Just the nanomachines in the transmitter. Did the Chief tell them his detonation code? I'm afraid so. It looks like they've got both codes and are nearly ready to launch. Damn. Is there any way to prevent it? It seems that there's some type of emergency override device that can cancel out the detonation code. It's a countermeasure that ArmsTech installed secretly. You have to unlock it with three special card keys. And where are those keys? I've got one of them. I don't know where the other two are. Besides, I'm locked up here. We've got no choice. Forget about the keys. Your top priority now is to destroy Metal Gear itself. I'm sorry to have to lay it all in your lap, but you're all I've got. Bust out of there, and get to the communications tower. Also... What? I know it's asking a lot. Meryl, right? Yeah. I'll save her. Thanks. Wow. So, instead of hiding under my bed like a lot of people tend to do, I am going to break out... Oh, crap. I haven't rang the doctor yet. Um. Uh, oh crap. <laughs> the guard is only human. He has to sleep and go to the bathroom like the rest of us. That'll be your chance. Um. Uh, 
one five two or one no oh, I don't know what his number is what's his damn number crap That's Mr. Tasha. You're the nuclear specialist that the colonel mentioned? That's me. You can ask me anything about nukes that you want. I am also a military analyst, so I have an extensive knowledge of weapon systems as well. They asked me to participate in this operation as a supervisor from the nuclear emergency search team. I was happy to accept. We must not allow terrorists to get their hands on nuclear weapons of any kind. I hope I can help you to stop them. You're a tough lady. Those terrorists are serious about launching a nuclear weapon? The world cannot stand by idly and allow that to happen, and neither can I. Unfortunately, all I can do from here is provide you with information. Hopefully that'll be enough. Another soldier here wouldn't make a difference anyway. It's good to work with you, Nastasha. Same here, Snake. Oh god, what's his number? Um, I can't remember his number. What is it? No, really? Otacon, oh wow! Are you still okay? Oh man! Thanks to the stealth camouflage, that is. I have a favor to ask. I need your help. I was wondering when you'd ask. What should I do? I've been captured. I'm locked up here in this cell. What cell? There's a big torture machine nearby. Okay, I know it. It's close. I'll be there right away. Thanks. Thank you. <laughs> now let's piss off the guard a bit. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up in there, will ya? Yeah, I like it. I think he takes you off the staring at him and all. Not sure. I think he does. Come on, tell me off then, mate. Well, no, I guess not. Huh. Oh. Snake. It's showtime. Oh crap. <coughs> Excuse me. So yes guys, I will not be telling you when these codes are in the videos. You guys will have to see for yourself and it's first come, first serve. Okay. I'll tell you once more. Just so you know though guys, if you win once the circle button, you'll not be able to win the other four times because it is the same enough, game, okay? The select button to submit. So I've got five keys of the same Your game. So there can be five game winners. Is over. There are no continues, my friend. I fought wars in Afghanistan, Mozambique, Eritrea, and Chad. Among the Mujahideen guerrillas, I was known and feared as Shalashaska. I was trained by the Russian Gru. I am not like one of those KGB slugs. To me, this isn't torture. It's a sport. You're all just a bunch of sadists. Don't confuse me with those uniform fools. Well... Shall we begin? Let's go, bitch! Okay, here we go. Bring it on! Come on! Full health! Did you like that? <coughs> Wow, that's really long way. Jesus Christ. Had 
enough yet? Bloody hell, man. We're not finished yet. Oh, go suck on a donkey's nipple. Boom! Bitch! You're a strong man. Well, that's enough for now, I think. We live in a sad age. So kind of donkey's nipple, pal. Totalitarianism at our striker. 20th century Russia has had its share of problems, but at least they had an ideology. Russia today has nothing. They're struggling between freedom and order, and with that struggle, a new spirit of nationalism has been born. The boss has a close friend high up in the Russian government. He's currently the head of Spetsnaz. He's agreed to purchase this new nuclear weapons system. The Hind was just a down payment. So you're in this for money? I don't need money. I want Russia to be reborn. To lead a brave new world order. You kind of contradicted yourself there, mate, because that's not what you say in the second one. And this is where we get to break out. Boom. Hey, hey you. Hello. What are you looking at? <laughs> I could have that's what he said. You okay, Snake? Yeah. Nothing new to report. Snake, is there anything I can do? Yeah, my arm hurts. Poor Snake. I'll increase the level of painkillers in your blood. Okay, but you can leave out the Benzedrine. That stuff makes me too frisky. <laughs> I guess you're not feeling too bad after all. Snake, put the controller up against your arm. What? Don't worry, it'll feel good. Huh? Okay, here I go. <laughs> How does that feel, Snake? A little better? How did you do that? I stimulated your muscle fibers with the nanomachine cilia. That's about all I can do for you. Naomi, please talk to me. Say something to take my mind off the pain. What can I say? Anything. I... I'm not a very good talker. Please. Tell me about yourself. Myself? That's a tough one. Any family? That's not a happy topic for me. I don't have any family. No. Wait. There was a man who said he was my father. Where is he? Dead. By my own hand. Big Boss. What? Big Boss? I had no idea. There was no way you could. It happened in Zanzibar six years ago. Only Snake and I know the real truth of what happened there. So, is it true? Was Big Boss really your father? That's what he said. That's all I know. And you were able to kill him, knowing that? Yep. How? He wanted it. Besides, some people just need killing. That's petricide. Yep. That's the drama that Mantis was talking about. The one we share in common. Is that why you left Foxhound? Let's just say that I needed to be alone for a while, and Alaska was the perfect place. <sighs> Snake. I didn't have a real family either. Just a big brother who put me through school. We weren't even blood-related, and he was much older than me. Where is he? He's dead. I'm sorry. Snake, is there a woman in your life? After you've been through as many wars as me, it's hard to trust anyone. Hmm. Friends? Roy Campbell. <laughs> You're still calling me friend? Is that it? No. There was another. Frank Yeager. What? Big Boss's most trusted lieutenant. And the only member of Foxhound ever to receive the code name Fox. Gray Fox. I learned a lot from him. But... 
Didn't you try to kill each other? That's true. We did, in Zanzibar. But it was nothing personal. We were just professionals on opposite sides, that's all. And you still call yourself friends? Hard to believe. War is no reason to end a friendship. That's insane. I first met him on the battlefield. He was being held a prisoner of outer heaven, but he didn't look like a prisoner to me. He was always so cool and precise. I was still green, and he showed me the ropes. You knew him well? No. We never talked about our personal lives. Sort of an unwritten rule. The next time I saw him on the battlefield, we were enemies. We were fighting barehanded in a minefield. I know it sounds strange to most people, but we were just two soldiers doing our jobs. It's like a sport. Men in their games. You're like wild animals. You're right. We are animals. So if you were friends, then how do you explain the ninja's behavior? I don't know. <sighs> it's your genes. They make you predisposed towards violence. You really like talking about genes, Naomi. Why did you get into genetic research anyway? I never knew who my parents were, or even what they looked like. I guess I got into genetics because I wanted to figure out why I am the way I am. So you studied about DNA? <laughs> yeah. I thought if I studied my genetic structure, I'd find out who I really was. I thought that by analyzing a person's genetic information, I could retrieve the blank spots in that person's memory. Memory is stored in DNA? We're not sure, but we know that a person's genetic fate is determined just by the sequence of the four bases in their DNA. So what about my fate? You know my DNA sequence, don't you? Your fate? I've... I'm sorry, I have no idea. Of course not. You're a scientist, not a fortune teller. Four way to put her in a place, isn't it? Oh my god. I love the way this guy runs off. <laughs> How fucking hilarious is that? That's funny as hell that is. <coughs> Excuse me. Alright, so when Otacon gets here guys, uh, and gives me my ration, I am going to be breaking out of here. And then after I've broken out, I'm going to call it a video. Hey, I'm here. Where? It's me, Otacon. Wow, they even capture you. Hurry, get me out of here. Hey, let me go, that hurts. Hurry up. Is that how you ask a guy a favor? Let me go. Jeez, it's like an animal's cage. Oh, what a smell. Because of him. Yeah, it's the Derpa Chief. You don't hurry up and get me out of here. I'll be laying next to him. Oh, bastard. This lock won't open with a security card. You need a key like the soldiers carry. So what are you doing here then? I... I thought you might be hungry. If you need more food, I can bring some more later. Also, I got you this level 6 card. It'll get you out of that torture room. Here, take this too. What's this? It's a handkerchief. I got it from Sniper Wolf. Why? I don't know why, but she's nice to me. Sounds like Stockholm Syndrome to me. I was taking care of the dogs here. After the terrorists took over, they were planning to shoot all the dogs. But Sniper Wolf stopped them. She even let me feed him when I asked. She likes dogs. She must be a good person. Please don't hurt her. Wake up, you idiot. She's the one who shot Meryl. Well, that's all I can do. They're planning to launch a nuke. I've got to stop them. Then you have to get past the communications tower. First, you have to get me out of here. Come on, I'm trying my best. That guard's got the key. You'll have to take him out. Give me a break. I'm no soldier. I can't take anybody out. You have to. I'll be- That's where the tomato sauce comes in. <clears throat> oh, jeez. He's coming back. See you later. Wait. Here we go. 
tomato sauce. Use it. Come on. Oh, come on, man. What? He didn't use it. Crap! I don't understand why I didn't use it. That is fucked up. Right, come on. Why can't I use it? There we go. I used it that time. Such an idiot sometimes. Fuck! Hello everyone, welcome back. Well, what I did was I restarted the entire game because there was no way I wasn't getting out of here. So, I, would, I just restarted the game and just decided to go like that. You ready? Let's get out of here, guys. <coughs> Suck on it, bitch. Get the hell out of here now. Damn. Ration. I got full health, so it's all good. Alright, then we go like this, we go like this, we go like that. And let's get dressed. Yay! Right, but with that said guys, I am gonna be leaving that here now. So yes, I know it was a pretty long video because of all the cuts here and whatnot. But hey, it's Metal Gear Solid, what do you expect? Anyway guys, if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to smash that like button, it is Metal Gear Solid after all. And don't forget everyone to keep it very, very sexy. Peace!